everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video I have a battle of the boxes for you guys so we're gonna do ipsy versus Sephora play now before we get started I do not have any makeup on I'm sorry all I have is mascara on um, my family went to a Six Flags on Saturday <laughs> and funny thing is it was super cold and my face got wind burned um, so I'm just giving it a break from everything and just kind of letting it heal so <clears throat> That is that. So I'm actually really excited to do this. Um, I was hoping to get my Ipsy a little bit earlier. Last month, I think I got it around the 11th. Here it is, what, the 18th, and I got my Ipsy yesterday, the same day I got my Sephora Play. So they're running a little behind this month, and I didn't even get any add-ons. But uh, that allows me to do the Battle of the Boxes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the question is, is do I do Ipsy first, a Sephora Play? Hmm, well, let's do Sephora Play because they actually arrived on time. We'll give them a little bit more attention. <laughs> so we open this up and of course I have the little pamphlet here. It has my um, 50 extra points. All right, so we open up the pamphlet and it says Beauty in Bloom. That is because this Wednesday is the very first day of spring. Um, lighten and brighten. Spring clean your skin, say hello to sun, master second day hair, kick up the color. So I'm assuming it's all about spring times. But I'm not going to check the back because I want to be surprised. You know, it's funny that they, they switch these bags now and these bags are never really fully closed when I get them. So on the back of the bag, this one says, your once a month squeal inducing bag of amazingness is here. Is it gonna make me squeal? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they would have to have a really cool brush in there, and then I might squeal. Um, but let's just go ahead and dive in. So the very first thing I have is the Sephora Lash Craft, Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. Um, I've actually received this before in a Sephora play. It wasn't really bad, but it just it's not one of my favorites. So I'm actually just gonna put this in a giveaway. Um, I just kind of wish it was something new, but you know, okay. All right. So this is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is awesome. I've actually been really interested in trying dry shampoo. The last box I received, I got some kind of hair product like this, but it was like a conditioner, not a dry shampoo. So I'm really excited to try this out and see what all the rave about dry shampoo is about. I usually actually have to wash my hair every single day, Monday through Friday because of work. Um, <laughs> there is no way I could not wash my hair. Uh, so I try not to wash my hair at least Saturday nights. So it'll be, it'll be nice to test out. What is this we have? Unseen sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40 water and sweat resistant. So this is sunblock, which I am always happy to get because that sun can be brutal. Um, I do not like sunburns. I do not like the damage that it does to your skin. You always want to protect your face, well, protect your whole body. Um, so sunscreen is always good to have. So very excited to have that. Uh, let's see what we have. Another hair product. It's a different brand. Okay, so this is the triple sec three in one from the dry bar. I feel like I've gotten this before too. I can't really remember, but I really do think I did. And it, it feels really light. Like, I don't know how much product is supposed to be in here, but it feels like maybe that much product is in here versus like if I hold this can, I can tell that this can is extremely full and this can is not. So... Well, I think they could give me a little bit more than what this feels like would be in here. Uh, so this is supposed to texturize, amplify, refresh, shake extremely well, spray four to six inches from dry hair. Safe for color treated hair. So is, I'm, get, I'm assuming this is like a shampoo and conditioner, but it says three in one. I don't know. I just wish they wouldn't have gave me two hair products. I'm happy with this one. I could have done without this one. So... Sephora is not looking too good right about now. All right, this is our perfume sample. Oh, 
<laughs> I love this perfume. So this is the Versace Bright Crystal Perfume. I am so in love with this perfume. It smells so good. So I'm very, very happy that this is the sample. Typically, when I do the perfume samples, every once in a while, I'll find one that I like. Um, the others I have not. <laughs> but this one I really, really enjoy. So very happy with the sample this month. And last, but... I see something square. <laughs> All right, what is this? This is the, ooh, okay. So this is the NARS Bronzing Powder, and this is the shade Laguna. That is actually like one of their main bronzers, right? The Laguna Bronzer, which I don't own. I have not tried, so finally something I haven't tried. Let's see. So oh, it's a cute little compact. So this is the compact right here. As you can see, it is definitely smaller than the palm of my hand, but you know, it is a sample size. And you open it up, it has a little mirror. I, I can see myself, so not, not too, too small. And of course it has a little NARS pocket in there. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It looks kind of, let's see. Ooh, that looks kind of warm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to test it out and see if it will work for my skin. If not, I'll have to pass it along to a friend. But I am glad I got this in here because this is like one of their big products. And I know this is really expensive. Um, that's one of the reasons I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy that this is in there. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of the Sephora box. So we got the Lash Craft uh, Mascara, which they have already sent. Not my cup of tea. Um, we got the sunscreen, which I'm really, really happy about. We got the dry shampoo, which I'm also happy about. We got the dry bar, uh, three in one, which I said, I think I've received before as well. So not exactly thrilled about that. And we got the NARS Laguna bronzer, which I'm super excited. I know this is really, really pricey, something I have not tried before. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so I say this box is okay. I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever received because I have received some really good Sephora boxes and this is not going to be one of them. So I'm a little disappointed, but not enough to where I would cancel my subscription. So let's go ahead and move on to the Ipsy bag and see if they can do any better. So I have my Ipsy bag right here. We're going to pop this bad boy open. All right. And... Nothing in the bag? Oh, cool. <laughs> you know, sometimes there's products outside of the bag. So this is the bag for this month. It's okay. I don't think that this is like the best bag that I've ever received. I've definitely gotten some really cute ones. It's kind of cheap feeling. Something I'll probably use for my little samples for giveaways. Um, and on the bag it says, and off she went to the change the world. So I don't know if you can tell. It's really, really shiny. Ooh. I almost dropped it. All right. And of course it has a little star on the end and it says Ipsy if it'll start shaking. So, um, I do like the color though. I do like the color. I would definitely put that color on my eyes. All right. Open it up. And the card says it's national women's history month. Flip for more. Oh, <laughs> started to show me the products. So I don't think it's ever done that before. It's never done that before. So I have some info on the card about Women's National History Month. There's a lot of info there. I'm not going to read that right now. We're just going to get straight into the makeup products. So the first item I have, ooh, what is this? From Jolie Luxe Cream Mattes. It's got a really pretty packaging. So you can see that it's like an ombre effect. It's got the white and the pink. That's really, really pretty. On the back, it says it is cruelty-free and vegan. So that is always a huge plus. All right, so this is the packaging right here. I think that it's really pretty. It's got like that frosty glass on it. And it does say the Jolie Cosmetics on the front. It is very, very lightweight, but it doesn't make it cheap because this part actually feels really, really nice. And let's see, it's a really pretty color. So it's your standard doe fruit applicator. And let's give it a swatch. <laughs> that is so pretty. I think it's actually a little bit more purple than I thought. So there is your swatch right there. I'm going to have to do a look and test this out. So that was only the first product that I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, the second product we have, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the Tarte Maneater Mascara. I really like the packaging on this. Again, if you can see, it has like the little cheetah prints on it. Super cute. It's actually a really decent size. So I'm very excited to have this. I love Tarte's mascaras. Their lash, uh, their Lights Camera Lashes is actually one of my top favorite mascaras. But, you know, I like Tarte as a brand. So very excited to have that. Back into the bag. What is this? This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I have received this before. I cannot remember if it was in Ipsy or Sephora. I actually think I've received it like twice before. Hmm, I don't remember. Um, but it doesn't really do anything for me. So I am going to pass this along in a giveaway as well. We have a brush. You know, you guys know I get so excited with my brushes. So... Let's see here. This is different packaging. Usually it's not this complicated. Um, what? And I do not open up anything with my teeth, so. I'm going to have to cut this open. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. That's actually really difficult to open. So it looks like a shader brush. Um, I'm assuming by Miss Glam. It's a short shader brush, which is going to be perfect for my lower lash lines. So I love having backup lower lash line brushes. Oh, it's, it's bent. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of tilted from being in that bag. But that's okay. Um, feels really good. It's gonna be really good to blend out my lower lash line. So very, very, very excited with, about that. And last but not least, ooh, ooh, this is big. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it's an Ofra highlighter. So, oh my gosh. Thank you at least for packaging it really, really nicely in some bubble wrap so it did not break. Ooh, I made it. Um, oh my god, the shade is so pretty. Look, so pretty. So this is the Ofra highlighter in Star Island. Oh my gosh. I love, and when I say love, I mean love Ofra highlighters. So, oh, yes, that is the swatch. And it's so pretty look oh my gosh you guys so pretty this just this takes the cake <laughs> um I don't think this is a full size but I mean I never go through a full size anyway I don't know this is 10 grams and my normal size highlighter is 10 grams. No freaking way. Ipsy, you are freaking stepping up the game. Like, let's be honest. So let's go over the Ipsy bag because I am like on cloud nine right now. So we have the coconut skin primer, which eh, I'm not too happy about. Um, but everything else in the bag totally makes up for it. But I'll be happy to put this in a giveaway for you guys. We got the Ofra highlighter, which is freaking amazing it is beautiful i love over highlighters so very very happy about that um we got the jolie cosmetics lipstick which is a really really pretty color um and it has dried down a little bit it's a gorgeous shade um we have the tarte man eater mascara which i love tarte's mascaras so i'm very excited to have this and of course we have the lovely um short shader brush which usually makes the whole bag for me but this is like a double whammy you guys like this is a really really good bag so obviously <laughs> obviously ipsy knocked sephora out of the park like let's be real ipsy won ipsy definitely won I, i'm cheesing i'm sorry <laughs> this overall highlighter has just got me <sighs> i cannot wait to get that on my cheeks 
my skin needs to hurry up and heal up so I can put that on my cheeks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune in Wednesday. I have a very special video for you guys. It's not going to be my normal blast from the past. It is something a little bit different. Um, so make sure you check that out. And if you guys did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.